Hi guys, Rich Bassine from RJBassine.com coming to you today. Just do a little brief intro, hopefully be brief. <laughs> um, it's the on this Ambico Video Tripod Model V05555. And uh, I just want to talk a little quick about it. This item is new. It does not come with the original packaging. Uh, the box has been destroyed, but the item is in perfect condition, as you can see. Okay, it's in perfect condition. The instruction book was a little, you know, I guess that's what I had it when it was a box. It was folded up like that, no doubt. So that's why the booklet seems like the way it does. And it's for video tripod. And uh, it does work. It's it's really good. It's pretty, you know, pretty versatile little thing here. It's all aluminum. Pops out like that, right, as you can see. It's got the... Uh, uh, things like that pretty fluid very you know it's not bad considering it's uh it's not like top of the line but it does work really good i mean i tested it out myself to make sure it works and uh you know when you lock it in it locks in um i, I can't always show you so much because i'm on a webcam <laughs> sorry folks um it still has wrapping on the legs here on the on the, you know, the stands here okay um in case you're wondering what this pot, this over here is, uh, this labeling here, I was wondering what this was at one point. I have a Sony tripod. Uh, mine has a remote control on it. It's a little more advanced than this, of course, and it's made for my Sony digital digital camera and camcorder, of course. Um, this one here, uh, the way it says smooth, I guess it has smooth and heavy. Now, the way I understand it, so I can show you like that really quick here. I don't want to damage my computer. Um, see what it says heavy? Right there, if I could focus that. I'm sorry, folks. Okay, see that there? My webcam's a little acting up. And then when you turn it this way, it says smooth. Now, that would not, what that means to me, without reading the instructions and stuff like that, just bearing, you know, playing around with it. Um, I think what that means is when you're adjusting this, if you have a heavy camera, right, here's the way this moves around like this. You know, this, this will lock in, of course, this locks like that. Um, when you're hitting the button here, this is if you want to take a side shot, you, you it snaps. Listen, I'll let you hear it. Hear that? It snaps it. Uh, you can't see it on top. But, um, yeah, it goes like that. That's as far as it goes. I don't think it bends anymore. No, you can't. You don't want a camera going that way. So that's as far as I guess it goes at a 90 degree angle. But you see, it snaps in like that. Okay? And that's the way it's only three positions like that. And like, well, actually, it could be four positions one, two, three. Okay, but it's all snaps in there. You push the button. It's only one side that pushes in. And then of course you got your, you know, your turning here, and this locks it, right? so you can move it around. But the thing is, when I was looking at this here, I wasn't sure what this was all about. My Sony doesn't have that. So the way I understand it, the way it works to me is, when you're lifting this up, right? Depending if the how heavy the camera is. Now watch my turn. this, watch how it is. Right? You see it over here? It moves up and down like that. Now watch. See, it doesn't. I mean, it'll still move a little bit. You tighten, well, the more you tighten it up, now it doesn't go. Um, I still would use this to make sure it's double locked, okay? So that's what I think that's for because it says heavy and it says smooth. Now, once this is locked, you can't move it up and down. So if you get it and you're working with it, don't think it's broken. You might have you might have forgotten to untighten it. See, now when you untighten it, see, it goes down. See how it goes down? And... When you turn it to smooth, that's that on that setting, that way counterclockwise is smooth. Look how nice it moves up and down. So it moves up and down nice and smooth. So it turns around like that. Okay? Um, but when you want to lock it in place, when you lock it in, you would, you know, you don't have, if you want to leave it on smooth, so you want to move this up and down, then you adjust it that way. See? Then you would adjust it. And, you know, depending on how, how tight you make it, it'll go. It'll stay. It's, it's strong. Unless you have a camera that weighs 100 pounds, it's not going to go anywhere. I'm pushing down on it, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I didn't tighten it up all the way, but it's it, it can go down heavy. You know, you'd have to have a pretty heavy camera. And if that's why I think they have this here. It's like as a safety feature, too, that if the camera is heavy, and even though this is tightened to its its ultimate you know, setting, um, it's, let's say it could still move, that's where this would come into play. You would tighten this up here, unlock it, and now it ain't going anywhere. Now it's really tight. Now it's really tight down here. Okay, so that's what that setting is. Just to give you a little overview on it, uh, my tripod don't have that. I have a Sony. I guess I have a Sony tripod. Mine doesn't have that. There, it just goes up and down, and you lock it. It has the key here where you lock. You could telescope it. You turn it up, <clears throat> like on my Sony one. You would turn it up, and uh, 
as you turn it up, it goes up like this. And you turn it down, it's got a lever. Then it has another lever over here to lock this in place. So when it goes up, you turn the style and you can lock it in place. Uh, unlike this one, it doesn't have that. But it doesn't matter. I mean, to me, that's irrelevant. I mean, and the only thing difference with the Sony is it has the remote control on the handle. So you could zoom in and out. And if you want to take a picture, a snapshot, you could hit the button on the, uh, the tripod piece here. You know what? Rather than me tell you, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Uh, for those who know me, this is the first time coming to my uh, YouTube channel, or in this particular case, the uh, eBay listing, I like my two main electronic products I like is Sony and Panasonic. But <clears throat> see, as you can see, I'm a Sony diehard. I bought the bag. I had to go out and buy the whole thing, and I had to buy the bag. I got it for my digital camcorder as well. I got a Sony digital dam camcorder and a video camera. But this is a little different here. As you can see now, this is a little more... You know, it's, 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 it's a little more involved as far as that part goes. Um, you would lift this up here like that. I mean, this, this one here is pretty, not expensive, but it, was, it cost me enough money. Let's put it that way. Um, what you do is with this one here, you would take this here. Well, if I can get it out. I always wrap it around here. And um, you would plug this into your camcorder or your digital camera. It plugs on the side. Okay. This has a quick release. This one don't. So quick release. This you pop this out, okay. You screw this bottom onto part, on the bottom part onto your camera, okay. It's got the little locking thing there too, where it locks it in place so it doesn't pivot, okay. And then you would turn it, you would tighten it down. You, you I usually use like a penny or a little a little nickel, or not a penny, like a penny or a nickel, uh, a dime to tighten it up, okay. But it goes in here, and uh, you put it in like this, and you lock it in. It also my ca my digital camera, oh, my stand has a level on it. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can show you. See, it has a leveling device right there. Whoops, where is it? Here. See right there, you can see it. it's got a leveling device. So when a tripod's up like this, you could pivot around. You could adjust it with the legs to move it up and down. But that's, like I said, we're talking apples and oranges here. Um, this here is how you move it up, I was telling you. With this one, you move it manual. Um, when you want to lock this in place where it doesn't spin, you turn this dial, okay? And then when you want to, when this is up in the up position, after you crank it up like this, right? You crank it up after it locks into place. Then you turn this dial like this, and this locks this up. So that's how it is. We're, we're talking two different things. If I just wanted to just share that with you guys. Um, that's how this one works. This one's a little, and this one does the same thing like that. Uh, you turn this little dial here. And this one here gives you a little, a little flexibility. Like if you have to move it at certain angles, it's variable. Like well, up to 90 degrees. You can't. You're not going to bring it back and forth. And you know, it can say it's the same, basically the same thing. You're either going to keep the camera this way, or you're going to keep it that way. So it doesn't really matter about a setting like that. To me, anyway. I know I never really use my camera with a setting like this. Either like this, 99.9% of the times it's like this. But you could do the same thing with that, with that tripod. This one here, I like I said, I'm a Sony diehard, so. I went out and I bought, you know, to me, I buy all the stuff to keep everything, you know, um, proprietary. You know, I had to get the Sony thing. And this has the remote control on it, as you can see. Okay. And with this here, if you move this out, like if you, with this lever here, if you move this out, you could adjust this here. So you move this out, see, it locks in. You could adjust it. So when you're turning it out like that, you could keep it like that. You know, you don't have to keep it. Let's say, let's say you're adjusting it, and I think the, the keys are on the bottom. Now you're working like this, so they make it where you pop it out, and you can move it around like that. Okay, but I don't need to really talk about this. I'm not talking about selling this. This I'm not going to sell. This is my, uh, my my part of my equipment. But I just want to show you the difference between um, that tripod and this one here. I just want to explain to you the difference in it. But um, this tripod here, this Amico. It's a very, it's a basic one, uh, but you want to know what, folks? This will do the same job as this. The same thing. It'll do the same exact thing. You don't really need to go and spend hundreds of dollars on a tripod just to take pictures. You don't need a level on it like that has a level. You don't need it. This does the basic thing, and it's, and you know what? Considering it's a strong little tripod, you know? And it's not bad. I mean, considering, I mean, I, I had it, I tried it and stuff like that. I, you know, I tested it out to make sure it, it stands up to the to what, it's, what it says it could do. And it's pretty good. It really is. And uh, if you're interested in here, it's the Ambico V, 
dash zero 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 five 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 fifty five and it's not bad it really works good and that's again folks that's what it's all about when you with this here you it's just manual where mine you turn it's just manual like that and again if you have something heavy if you have a heavy camera like let's say even though you look let's say you lift this all the way up to the top right let's say it's all the way lifted to the top like that and you know you're afraid that it might fall down you know if it's not mounted properly and the camera will slide down bang hits over here remember tighten this bottom one and you shouldn't have that problem that's what this is for and then again when it says smooth, if you want to keep it smooth, remember to when you're doing adjustments on this, just remember what the that's why they put the arrows here. When you want a smooth operation, turn it count turn it clockwise. And when you do this here, this will drop down nice like that. Okay. But just remember that folks. It op everything's operational, it works great. Still has like I said, still has the plastic on the legs on it. And uh, that's basically it. If you have any questions on this here, folks, on this tripod. You know, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, if this is the first time it comes to my YouTube channel, or in this particular case, the uh, eBay listing, my name is Rich Bassini. I do sneak peek videos, intro videos, and I do demo videos. And this one here is basically a basic little intro. I know, 11 minutes, right? I'm, so I'm looking at the time over there. It's 11 minutes going on. Going on. I like to, you know, it's me. I always like to get in detail to try to explain things to the, you, know, you, you guys, the potential buyers, just to show you. Um, I know you're probably saying, well, this guy's trying to do it to make a sale. But I just like to explain things, you know, I just like to give you a little overview on things and stuff like that. And just talk a little about the product itself. But anyway, I don't want to go any more longer than this. So if you like what I do with these with these uh, videos, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, whenever I make new stuff coming out, new videos coming out, it's not always demo videos and intros. Sometimes I talk about other topics. And not lately I haven't been talking about any different topics, but I do occasionally. Uh, most likely eBay related. In some cases, not all. But I do cover other topics, uh, you know. So uh, if you like what I do, again, please subscribe to my channel. If you uh, like, you know, if you got anything out of this video, you want to give it a thumbs up, that's great. If not, that's fine, too. I really appreciate you stopping by and hearing me out about this here. Uh, but thanks again, guys. I'll talk to you soon. If this helped, let me know. Um, and like I said, I, and lastly, I offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So uh, I, I think you're going to be very happy with this here if you're looking, if you're just starting out photography and you want a basic uh, tripod. Uh, to carry it's not that heavy either folks I, I would say maybe this thing's roughly about two pounds maybe if that maybe a pound and a half two pounds it's not that bad you could probably get like a bag to carry it with you and stuff like that if you needed to carry it, like a shoulder bag that's like a shoulder bag you carry it on you could probably get something like that pick something like that from a, a camera store if you needed to carry it around or if you did have to carry it by hand it's not that heavy you know and it's got the locking things just like mine just like that one there I don't know of any other ones that make them like this without the snapping on here. But anyway, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Take care, and thanks again for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye.